into this short guided yoga nidra practice. This practice is here for you to really reclaim your peace and tranquility, bliss state within you. I've really tailored this nidra for women out there experiencing symptoms of perimenopause or menopause. I myself am embarking this journey and I have found Yoga Nidra as one of the most incredible medicines for calming these emotions that come through during this time of transformation. It is important to know that this practice is really for anyone that is seeking connection with a deep inner peace and a bliss state within you that you can return to when life just feels slightly overwhelming or heavy in energy. For those of you new to this practice, welcome, my name is Elizabeth, and for those of you that have been guided by me through my other nidras, welcome back to the space. I am in such gratitude for your continuous support, and if you enjoy this nidra, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel because I will be offering weekly sessions, and I'm open to hear any other healings or spaces you would like to receive through this incredible ancient practice of Yoga Nidra. Yoga Nidra is an ancient practice and as it is modernized into the Western world, we often hear it called and described as non-sleep deep rest, where you will be awake and aware but you will move through all layers of self into an almost sleep state, thus truly giving your body and your nervous system an opportunity to rest deeply. It has been proven to heal and reduce symptoms of anxiety, post-traumatic stress, general stress, but also, in my experience, those emotional tones that sometimes take over through that perimenopause, menopause moment during our monthly cycles. And I personally experience that the more I become in relationship with my monthly cycle and the emotions that come through, the sensations and the overwhelming experiences I have, I notice that I am guiding myself through it with practices like Yoga Nidra, Breathwork and Yoga. Sometimes it's simply acknowledging that perhaps we can't fully heal something, but we can learn how to move through it. And this is something I would like to offer you in this experience. So before we begin, I invite you to get cozy in your Nidra nest. If you are taking the position of Shavasana, which is generically used for this practice, perhaps a bolster under the knees can feel really grounding for the lower back. If any of you are experiencing any menstrual symptoms as you take this practice, maybe a light hot water bottle on the belly or a cozy blanket, perhaps an eye mask to welcome yourself into the dark space beyond. And maybe even to set some ambience in the room to honor that self-love of lighting some incense or a candle to really bring in that nurturing womb space effect that we want to feel through this practice. So as you cozy yourself in, I want you to just scan through and inquire if you can perhaps become 5% more comfortable. It's really important that we inquire that we're truly being held safely, but also we feel that real level of comfort before we start to deepen into a state of non-sleep deep rest. So let's close down the eyes and just really sit behind that dark or light space behind the eyes with a sense of comfort and familiarity. 
just grounding the body into the earth beneath you. So just for a moment, I invite you to tense up every single muscle in the body. The toes, the calves, the glutes, the thighs, the core, the fists, all the way through to the shoulders and the chest, even the face, as you inhale nice and deep. And then on the exhale, just let everything unfurl, even the mind. Just feel yourself opening up into a state of deep relaxation and surrender from this tension within you. Back of the heels, the calves, the glutes, the elbows, the shoulder blades, the back of the head. Feel those touch points completely rested. Your awareness already offering that space of letting go. Let the forehead and the brow be soft, the cheeks and the jaw, almost uncurling the fingertips slightly deeper to experience already the sensation of tension releasing from the body. We will take three simple breaths just to anchor our awareness into the physical body. But before we do so, I just want you to truly listen to the sounds in the room around you. Perhaps the farthest sound that you can hear. Working your way through the sounds. With real intricate awareness. Until you hear the sound of my voice. And now even perhaps the sound of your breath. Very naturally rising and falling without any effort, knowing that you are exactly where you need to be, and this breath is exactly as it needs to be. Slowly now, let's invite that deep breath through the nose, inhaling. Just a slight pause at the top, and then on the exhale with the mouth relaxed, open wide. Again, inhaling through the nose. And exhale. As you take another deep breath in, just feel the belly and the chest and the heart lift through the inhale, pausing that at the top. And now as you exhale, Feel again more tension leaving the body and the mind, anchoring yourself fully into this physical experience. And now let's return to the natural breath. And just honor that you are practicing Yoga Nidra and you will enter a state of non sleep deep rest, an almost sleep state, but will remain awake and aware. If you fall asleep, that is welcome, because what you need right now will be given. Because you will learn in this space that what you need will be exactly what you receive. So as you lie here in a much more relaxed state already, I ask you to inquire from the physical body what it needs from you right now. What does the physical body need from you right now? It can just be one word, try not to question it, but just invite that word to be present. And then ask yourself, what does my spirit need from me right now? And your spirit is the essence of you. The tiny characteristics that truly make you who you are. What does your spirit need from you right now, from this practice? Just one word. And then inquire, what does my soul need? My eternal light energy that moves through many lives and yet in this life is being guided by this beautiful body 
and spirit. Really invite a sense of intuition into this moment. Where we start to inquire deeper than just the mind and start really listening to the body and its desires. The body knows exactly what it needs. It knows exactly what it needs to do. Yet, with our busy lifestyles and our distracted thoughts, we don't often give ourselves that space for the body to truly receive the healing that it is longing for. So honor yourself in this moment for showing up, just to shift yourself, even subtly, to a place where the body really can move through this experience and offer the healing that you need. So with that moment of inquiry in mind, Bring your awareness now to the center of your heart. Perhaps you can even feel the subtle beating of the heart. Perhaps if you feel cold, you might want to even just bring your palms onto your heart and feel the energy that is emitting from this space. Perhaps you have forgotten how to even connect with your heart in the previous days. It feels good to return to this space of homecoming. And with this life beating here in front of you, I invite you to now listen even deeper and invite and ask, what does my heart need from me right now? What is my heart's highest calling? How can my heart help me in this moment of releasing emotional tones or tensions within my body and mind that no longer serve me? Imagine as if you were at the altar of your heart and in that moment you invite an intention. We call that Sankalpa. The Sankalpa, the prayer offering to the heart. So really feeling into the Sankalpa rather than allowing the mind to take away this moment, truly tune into the physical body and to your heart of what your calling is. Perhaps you have a Sankalpa you like to use regularly or perhaps you have a Sankalpa you are working with in this moment. But if you would like, I can offer you. I rest deeply to allow my inner peace and blissed state to embody all layers of myself. I rest deeply to allow my inner peace and bliss state to embody all layers of myself. And now taking that Sankalpa and mentally whispering to yourself three times, allowing each time you whisper your Sankalpa to ripple through the body. And as you allow the Sankalpa to be heard by every single cell within you. Trillions of cells listening, listening to the intention and frequency of your Sankalpa. If your hands are on your heart, slowly rest them back down to the sides of the body, where we will begin now a rotation of consciousness. As we move our awareness through each part of the body, I invite you to just honor the breath, the natural breath in that moment as an offering of peace, an offering of release to whatever tension is held in that part of the body. You don't have to force the breath or change the breath 
but almost allow the breath to breathe you in that moment as you welcome a peace state of release to whatever resistance or tension or emotion you are holding in that part of the body. Your awareness is already the offering of letting it go. Let's take the awareness now to the right thumb. First finger. Second. Third. Pinky finger. Back of the hand and center of the palm. The wrist. Elbow. Upper arm, right shoulder, right collarbone, the ribs, waist, hip, upper leg, knee, lower leg, ankle, big toe, second, third, fourth and baby toe, the top of the foot, and the sole of the foot, right heel, ankle, back of the calf, knee, back of the upper leg, hip, the whole of the right side body is in awareness now of releasing tension, emotional tones that feel heavy, and any resistance that you are holding, the awareness as the medicine, the present awareness of the right side body, simply the medicine of this letting go. Guide that awareness now to the left thumb, first finger, second, third, pinky finger, back of hand, center of the palm, left wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, left shoulder, collarbone, left side ribs, waist, left hip, upper leg, knee, lower leg, ankle, big toe, second, third, fourth, and pinky toe, top of the foot, sole of the foot, heel, ankle, Calf, knee, back of the thigh, hip, and now witness to the whole of the left side body resting in peace, in bliss, 
just knowing your present awareness is the medicine of letting go of all tensions that no longer serve. Take that awareness to the tailbone, the whole of the pelvic girdle, the sacrum, the right side of the womb and the left side of the womb, allowing any sensations to be filled with present awareness, resting, bliss, state. The navel center, the whole of the spinal column, the right shoulder blade, the left shoulder blade, both shoulder blades resting deeply on the ground beneath you, the back of the neck, the back of the head, resting, top of the head, the hair and the skull, the forehead resting, the brows, the right eye and all of the tiny tissues behind the right eye, the right temple, cheek, left eye and all of the tiny tissues behind the left eye. The temple, cheek, tip of the nose, upper lip, lower lip, and all of the sensations within the mouth, the teeth, the tongue, all the way to the root of the tongue. The whole jaw relaxed and rested knowing that as you relax the awareness into the jaw, the whole of the hips soften into the earth beneath you. The throat center, the chest, and the resting heart, the heart center. The whole body the right side and the left side, the front and the back, the top of the head to the tips of the fingers and the tips of the toes. Every cell in the body, trillions and trillions of cells, with present awareness of peace you are emanating into each part of the body. unfurling and unwinding all of the tension, all of the emotions, all of the energies that no longer serve you. And as you remain with the awareness on the heart center, you feel the wings to the heart, the lungs, breathing you. And they are perfectly breathing you. Your breath is a unique breath to you because this is your life force energy breathing you. Don't try to change the breath, just simply allow it to reside here as it is needed to reside. Inhaling and exhaling. That gentle rise and fall, so peaceful, full of bliss state energy. And as you focus on this breath, you notice that each inhale offers a more and more depth into the body, as each exhale offers a more and more release from this body, from this mind, 
and from all states of being that no longer serve you. So as you connect and feel, even listen to the sound of the natural rise and fall, that softness of your own breath, you welcome an inhale of peace and an exhale of any tensions, any tones that you wish to release. Inhaling peace, exhaling tension. Inhaling peace, exhaling tension. Drawing that peace in each inhale breath, each breath bringing peace bliss, harmony, and rest deeply, deeper and deeper into the body as more and more breath and prana enters, and each exhale offering that release, that letting go, there is nothing you need to do here, just simply breathe, the breath has you, the breath is your cleansing medicine, the breath is healing you, and your awareness to it is activating that release. As you inhale, you inhale harmony. And again, as you exhale, more tension releases. Inhaling harmony and letting go of whatever doesn't serve this moment. Breath in and breath out. The more you breathe in, the more harmony fills the body. The more you breathe out, the clearer it feels inside. Inhaling your own natural light, each breath in offering an inhale of your own inner light. And again, as you exhale that light energy taking any excess tension, any physical sensations you feel that don't serve you, any emotional tones, exhaling naturally without any force, using your own inner light, your inner light inhaling and your inner light cleansing as you exhale. The inhale offering this soothing balm, peace, harmony, inner light, bliss, rest, restoration, calm, kindness, compassion, love, and each exhale letting go of those tensions and pains. Exhaling all of the excess energy that doesn't serve you in this moment. Cleansing and clearing, healing and calming each breath out, washing through all of these sensations that you need to let go. Keep this awareness with this beautiful natural breath that has become your signature to this moment. Guide the awareness to the right side of the body, almost as if the left side body is dissolving in this moment. And you breathe, just as you've been breathing, but just through the right side body. Inhaling through the soles of the feet, all the way through to the crown of the head. And exhaling from the crown of the head, all the way through the soles of the feet. Working the breath from the tips of the toes to the top of the head. And exhaling back down, all the way through the right side body. That awareness, identifying to cellular level the stress and tension that you need to let go. And 
And as the awareness resides here, the radiance of that right side body starts to emanate beyond the boundaries of the body into the room around you. Already the lightness is within you and around you, surrounding you, holding you, healing you, calming you resting you and as you focus on that right side body you acknowledge the left hemisphere of the brain right side body left side brain simultaneously and then slowly guiding that awareness now to the left side body As the right side dissolves, with all the tension with it, you bring the awareness and that breath to the left side body. Just tuning in solely to the left side as you inhale and exhale. Again, guiding the breath from the soles of the feet on the inhale to the crown of the head. Letting go from the crown of the head through the soles of the feet. Rising on the inhale and letting go on the exhale through the left side body, dips of the toes, inhale, crown of the head, exhale all the way from the crown of the head down to the soles of the feet, just letting that breath flow like a river, cleansing, healing, calming, easing, soothing. You take the awareness of the left side body as you feel it radiate beyond its boundaries into the room around you. And as you focus on this left side body, simultaneously the awareness on the right side of the brain. Left side body, right side of the brain. And now simultaneously, the awareness sat on the left and the right side of the body. One unified, glorious sense of rest, peace is now within you. The right and left side of the brain, as one mind is completely unfurled and relaxed. You have become thoughtless in this moment. Your true mind is within your heart. And that's where you're breathing from. And as you allow yourself to just sit within this state of bliss, you remember that this is your birthright. And all of these sensations and emotions, the tensions, the pain. They aren't who you truly are. They're not your true identity. Because you are beyond that space now. You are sat as the witness to those experiences that are temporary, that come to you and pass through you. And this is the moment now where you remember this connection with your true inner self, your true light. The witness to it all. Completely detached from any of those experiences that at one time felt so consuming. You are suddenly now set free. And in this space of void, of emptiness, the real truth sits, awaiting you. This is not a place you have found from your yoga nidra practice. This is you. This is you. 
You are bigger than this physical body. You are connected to a source energy beyond your wildest dreams. And that expansion now sits in the center of the mind's eye. As you slowly see a beautiful ocean landscape in front of you. And at the very furthest point of the horizon, a beautiful sun is rising. His golden glow is starting to appear as the sun rises, the orange emanates, radiates, and beams above the ocean waters that are so calm. There isn't a single ripple in the water. It is crystal clear. And it is so clear that you see the sun's rays reflecting on the water as it rises up beyond the horizon and you witness this light energy and you receive all of its wisdom and healing that you need in this moment for this is simply a reflection of your own inner horizon and your own inner light take it to wash and cleanse any final energies that no longer serve you. Welcome to the bliss being that you are. And in this moment, you remind yourself of your Sankalpa. I rest deeply to allow my inner peace and bliss state to embody all layers of myself. I rest deeply to allow my inner peace and bliss state to embody all layers of myself. Take your Sankalpa and whisper to yourself mentally three times. As your Sankalpa echoes, and as the vision of the horizon dissolves, you just take a moment to scan through the body, and feel this tranquility that you have created. This is you. This is you, and all of those sensations you can move beyond. welcome this healing bliss whenever you need to. Let's move that awareness back to the rise and fall of the breath, noticing how light you feel. The heaviness and tension is completely dissolved, leaving you in this rested state. So you invite an inhale through the nose, deeper, with a slight pause to sit in that space in between, and then exhaling. Each breath guiding you back into the physical body. Again, inhale, breathing yourself back into this physical body. so radiant and full of lightness, pause at the top and then exhale through the mouth. Again, one final breath in, really returning yourself back to the physical body, a place where you now want to be because it feels so good to be there. Pause and exhale through the mouth.
letting go of that breath and returning to its natural rhythm. Take a moment to really embody this place that you have found within yourself, knowing that you are your true healer. At any moment, these feelings, these tones, sensations become overwhelming. You can honor this space to yourself as an offering of medicine. You can reclaim your power back and not let these energies consume you any longer and take away from who you truly are. And with consistency of this practice, you will feel and witness the transformation. I simply invite you to try it. So let's just bask in these benefits for a few more moments and really honor yourself. Really honor yourself for moving through such an experience, feeling that transformation within you. And then just touching the thumb to each fingertip and slightly moving the toes. It might even feel nice to have a nice big stretch. And just remaining in your space, I invite you to very slowly open the eyes. Maybe just take a moment to look around the room or the landscape around you and notice how that now your inner world has changed, how clearly different your outer world now seems thus teaching us that when we take a moment to really take that deeper perspective within and give ourselves a moment for this life in front of us and honor that with a space of self-love to create such profound shifts within us we can only then change the world around us For the world around us has so much less impact than we have on the world around us. I invite you to stay here for a couple more minutes and I invite you just to take some water after this practice. And for those of you that really felt some physical healing the cellular level, I really do invite you to take this practice perhaps every day for five or six days through each month of your cycle, especially the days leading up. It really is medicine and will be such a great tool to help you move through these experiences of great change. I really hope this space has brought you as much healing as it does to me. I really honor you. I am excited to bring you more offerings for other healings along this journey together. Please subscribe to my channel. My heart only explodes when I know how many of you I am reaching out to with this incredible practice. Please stay safe. Don't forget to breathe. And I shall see you again very soon. Namaste.